So my name is Nikki Piconia, and I am a therapist, a licensed clinical professional counselor in Maryland and DC. Um, I own a private practice here in Bethesda and over the year have expanded my business and now have four associates, which is wonderful because now I don't have to turn people away. I can um, just get people the help that they need and a lot of people have needed help this year more than previous years. So I'm happy that I have the staff or, you know, the associates to be able to accommodate their needs. Um, so my therapist, uh, we're all child and adolescent therapists. We do see some adults as well, but we focus on child and adolescent mental health and specifically trauma-informed care and play therapy are our specialties. I've been involved in the Children's Mental Health Matters campaign for many years. I started out as, I think at Key Point, yeah, that must have been over 10 years ago. So it was a clinic, mental health clinic um, in Baltimore. And I used to run the children's and adolescents mental health program there. So heard about it and, you know, signed us up and got involved back then. So I've definitely been involved in the campaign for many years. I was drawn to the mission of the campaign after I saw some of the kids that were coming into the clinic and, you know, just didn't feel very, I guess, happy or excited that they were there. And I wanted to make it a little bit more comfortable and relaxing and engaging for them. So when I learned about that campaign and just how to increase knowledge and perceptions about mental health, it just really became important to me to get that out, that they weren't there because they're problematic or they had, you know, issues that we could really, you know, bring them here and make them feel comfortable and like they were coming in to build resilience. And I also want to mention, um, I used to be the president of the Maryland DC Association for Play Therapy. I still serve on the board. Um, so I started that there as well and they have continued the current president has continued the campaign within that organization so it's nice to see that you know as i expand and um, educate some of my peers about the campaign that they're continuously growing and networking and so that's been really exciting too um so but within my own organization now i you know this year was very interesting because a lot of it was virtual but it was actually pretty cool as well because we could reach a lot more people that way um so what we did i know through the maryland dc association for play therapy as well as my practice but that's still play therapy and healing center did a lot of educational videos either on instagram or facebook um, lives and just you know really educating the public about mental health and how important it is and you know some techniques that parents could use at home when they're kind of stuck at home with their kids and their kids weren't doing so well so i felt that that was really um a really great part of the virtual world <laughs> this year um, but in the past we've done some really fun stuff uh green bake-offs to where you know to celebrate the color green and children's mental health make everything green and sell that um you know i've done the the college park that fair uh, the come out and play that was fun um i know i brought some materials to make different kinds of stress balls and of course do that during awareness week in my own practice have little events like that um, little crafts that kids can make um, again to build resilience and excitement about coping skills anxiety, anxiety, anxiety. Um, yeah. So I would say that top definitely. And then, you know, I think just adjusting back to the real world, quote unquote, after a pandemic, um, and having all the same stress, even more that they did prior. So, you know, having this knowledge that we're still in a pandemic, but, you know, I also have to play sports and stay safe 
and have a social life and a full academic curriculum and activities and just managing that has been very challenging I think for for families and and kids and teens just adjusting back to that um, you know and having full schedules again that's you know on the go on the go on the go so I think that's been a trend just anxiety dealing with that even with kids who weren't prone to that prior to the pandemic we've seen a real big increase in that so we've been definitely getting a lot of anxiety cases and then, you know, helping the families too and how to psychoeducate them and teach them ways how to regulate and co-regulate so that they can, you know, be calm anchors for their children instead of, you know, oftentimes perpetuating that because they're feeling the same kind of levels of stress and anxiety. So doing a lot of parenting work around that as well and just, you know, treating the whole system. I've seen a lot of appreciation and I've seen a lot of growth, I think, from parents and understanding their child's mental health needs. And to me, that's, you know, impact. Um, I've seen a lot of growth and understanding from schools and, and local um, community sports, coaches, things like that, you know, and just understanding how important mental health is. So to me, I think the impact has been positive. Children's mental health is really important to me. Um, it's my passion, my purpose in life. I think I started out my career as being a child adolescent therapist. So having supports like, you know, Children's Mental Health Matters campaign and things like that really reinforce my beliefs um, that children's mental health should be just as important as their physical health and, you know, prioritized and, you know, and I think that early intervention and prevention is just what I really got into this field for. So I'm just so happy to see that, you know, this campaign is reinforcing that and just expanding in ways that I could never do personally, just reaching the community at a large scale. Um, but yeah, it's definitely so important to me. It's my heart. You know, it's okay not to always be okay to really work hard on your regulation so that you can be that center and anchor for your child and to know that you don't have to be perfect, that, you know, having honest conversations about mental health and behaviors and, you know, even your parenting techniques or things it's, it's just honest and I think the one takeaway would be just to be um, centered and honest and and there and present I think others should get involved in the children's mental health campaign because we're increasing resiliency we're just helping kids cope with life. And this is their future. So we want them to be prepared, uh, mentally strong, and you know, ready to handle all of life stressors. So I think you should join the campaign because not only is it intrinsically so valuable, it you know impacts so much more than you can ever imagine.